case like this one, we want to reconstruct this uh, object. I started and created my revolved surface of the main body, which looks like this. And all these are primitives, we can build them easily, but the question is what happens with this part. So I use the plot surface to reconstruct this shape up to the level which you see here. It just goes to the end. But the problem now is how can I trim this? How can I use this um, and reconstruct the correct object? The way we do this is by editing plot surface. I'll just right click and go in edit mode. I'll put it in top view so we can see. So now I don't need currently revolved surface. My goal is actually to extend this and make it bigger. And we'll learn how to do this. I just double click on this uh, edge to select the whole um, edge chain and make sure that the snap mode is off because now we will no longer work on the mesh. We don't want to stay on the mesh but just go inside the body. So if I hold Alt key, it actually will duplicate. But what you see on the screen is that it duplicates and it moves into the direction which in this case is Y direction. There is nothing wrong with this but just this extrusion now it's straight into this direction and the way we can see this is if I show the control net you see that this line is uh, going straight in this direction so that's why the shape becomes like this. But this is not what we want. So I will undo my movement now. And if I want to properly extend this, I will hold Alt key. Also, we'll keep holding the Control key. So I hold both keys down, Control and Alt. And then I can come to my line, hold the left mouse button and start dragging. What happens in this case is that the extending of my surface is actually into the tangent direction of my shape. In this way, I can reconstruct the, um, the shape in a better way so it can extend and get into the other model where we can apply trimming easily. So in conclusion, in order to extend something into the tangent direction, you need while duplicating the edge to hold Control and Alt key. I hope this tip is useful for your project. Thank you.